Hello, and welcome back to Jade Empire. It's been quite a while. Um, last week, I recorded the end of the game. I got all the way there. Recorded it all. Corrupted footage. This week, or well, earlier in this week, we had some more issues that I'm going to show you at the end of the video. Like, basically, we could not progress from this point kind of issues. Like, a, a quest giver got stuck behind a door, and the uh, game just, there was no way past it. So, hopefully this works. We're going to go in and see what's going on. We're going to tell them about our master who has died in this room. And we'll see what's happening. Oh, yes! Fantastic. I never, t I didn't test it, but I, it seemed like you it was there. better. You are Master Gong's new Lotus Acolyte, correct? Master Gong has kept Grand Inquisitor Gia waiting for too long. Where is he? Well, yeah. Uh, by the way, that's the NPC. He gets stuck behind the door that's shut behind him. And he just doesn't ever come out. So that's a bit weird. Anyway, um, I apologize on behalf of my master. He is dead. What? No doubt from some petty maneuvering gone wrong. I suppose Shin had something to do with it. Both of them be damned. Gia wants her jade golem. You were Gong's acolyte? You deal with this and get me the spirit shard I require since your master is dead. You may present it in the ritual. Okay. Can do. Bring it to the doors of the inner chamber. Finish whatever business you have in this place. Grand Inquisitor Gia may alter your duties. Ooh. Exciting. See, this guy? Imagine if he was at the other side of this door that will not open. It's a real pain. Anyway, hello. There you are, Acolyte. I've been waiting for you. As has everyone involved in this ritual. The Jade Golem must be completed tonight. Okay. You have the Spirit Shard? Very good, Acolyte. You're on the verge of being welcomed into the heart of the fortress. Have you completed all other business? What, is this a point of no return? Yeah, of course I've completed all my other business. Let's proceed to the ritual. Good. Grand Inquisitor Gia will be pleased, I am sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't think she's going to be that pleased. I hope Soap Fox eventually follows. It would be awkward if she doesn't now. Preparations are complete. The Spirit Shard is prepared thanks to the skills of our newest Lotus Acolyte. Mm-hmm. Me. You are very fortunate to be welcomed so quickly into the heart of our order. Grand Inquisitor Gia will be pleased with you. Good. Now, we must complete the ritual. A score of clay golems stand idle without a focus. This jade golem will awaken them all, direct them as one. Mm -hmm. Insert the spirit shard. Let this legion of immortals give glory to our masters. What? What is wrong? I command you. I demand that you obey. Ooh. What is the meaning of this? Who has corrupted this Jade Golem? It is linked to a legion of warriors that now run mad. The Foundation will crumble. Wasn't us. Who are... You. Wait. I can sense it on you. You are the one. You carry the other pieces of the amulet. My gravest apologies, Grand Inquisitor Gia. This new acolyte has corrupted the ritual. Fool! So blinded by petty schemes that you cannot see a threat in our midst! You are worthless! And you, hidden in plain sight like your master. You caught us unsuspecting, but not unprepared. Who are you to think you could enter our lair so easily? Um... Well, there are many things I could be. Hmm... Uh, 
I don't know, I'm a spirit monk who must stand against the Emperor. That doesn't seem right. Weapon of Vengeance, I seek the head of Death's hand. Not really. Stu student searching for his master. Could be. Doesn't matter what I am, I will defeat you. Um, yeah, I guess I'll go for the defeat you point of view. Defeat us? No. We are well insulated against your kind. Whether an invader, a conspirator, a traitor, we survive by seeing the enemy in everyone. Mm -hmm. That is why Death's Hand stands at the forefront of the assassins. He draws attention, diverts criticism, while the Emperor solidifies his power. Oh. You are like every other simpering peasant that has graced our dungeons. What did any of them contribute to the glory of our age before the Emperor dared to make something of them? Okay, yeah. That is the beauty of what Sun Hai has done. He has taken the raw material of the Empire and extracted something useful. Oh, 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 oh. For every magistrate that objects, or peasant that asks questions, another golem is forged. An army undying. But through all this, a threat remained. A traitorous sibling and a hidden protege. We did not know a face or a name, but we knew what they would need. The amulet, its pieces spread like petals to the wind. You have caught a few, but you are far from your peak. And not every golem was linked to this corrupted husk. Oh, there are more. I see. Goodbye, spirit monk. I will inform Death's Hand of your passing. This is unfortunate. Right. Uh, let's just dodge out the way start. Oh, I kind of want to... I might actually, for once, actually pause the combat. Let's have a look. So, Executioner, we've got one golem to our right, and we've got one golem who's hitting Silk Fox. I think we need to kill the Executioner first. Let's go for it. There we go. That was nice and easy. Next one. The golems. Ooh. Okay. He got some good hits in, but I think we might have him under his legs, right? Grab the focus. Stay back until it switches to Silk Fox. Just don't let him hit us. There. Oh, damn, he got us. Okay. Go in for the hits. We got him. Okay. Oh, what did we get? We leveled up. Oh, we gained a style Jade Golem. We didn't level up. Okay. Ooh, a scroll stand. Ooh, a scroll stand, I say. Totally not clicking off the screen and having the whole game uh, glitch out. Scroll stand. Text of war. In the art of war, it is not enough to have superiority in numbers or strength in arms. True victory, lasting victory, is a cultural thing. To stop a conflict, you must not only defeat armies, you must defeat the will to fight. You must appease your enemy, convince them they have won, or to eradicate them utterly. A nation with an expansive population therefore benefits from extermination. With a surplus of peasants, a newly cleared land can be rapidly repopulated, and with an infrastructure of buildings already in place, made productive in short order. In the reign of Emperor Yangzi, this was demonstrated most admirably in the marshlands to the south. Okay. And we received the Legacy of Death's Hand for finishing the whole book set. What have we got in terms of books? Let's see what we got. Tenchi. Um, Death's Hand training is an incessant, is incessant and brutal. It admits no failure and no one who fails would survive it. But at its core, its aim is to improve the student. His methods may be inhumane, but those who can survive the twisted enlightenment await. Cool. I think we're going to heal up with our chi. And uh, I'm going to quickly save. And we're going to head on through. We have to find Xi. Ooh, Vs. Sorry, um, I know you were talking, but I needed to get six silver. Aha. Uh -huh. You are strong, but you do not know real power. Our strength lies in preparation. Uh-huh. We have warriors across the Empire and other Jade Golems that are not corrupted. 
You have diminished us, but it is not a mortal wound. Death's hand will be here soon. You will be my gift to him, drawn as you were by your precious amulet. Live or die, the will of the Emperor be done. Longsword. Okay. Right, so I think we can just hit her. I think that tends to work as a strategy. Now, she does do something really quite unfair, which you'll see in a second. She does this thing, where she basically can't be hit by anything, although apparently she could be hit by weapons, which I didn't figure out last time. This just became the easiest fight I've ever done. Oh, okay. That was actually too easy. Okay. Uh, basically, what that shield's meant to do, I think, is meant to stop her taking damage, but I guess it only stops her taking damage from... Uh, from like non weapon styles. I guess I just never tried a weapon style on her last time. Weird. What's Sue doing here? Oh. Ooh. He is too powerful. Go! I will do what I must. Oh, Zuri was the only person who agreed with us. But on it, pretty much every subject. Quickly, there's no time to stop and talk. We must escape this place before it becomes our tomb. Okay. Well, actually, oh, right. scale of the viper. One of the three meditation doctrines required to withstand the physiological demands of the training of the viper's uh, fighting style. The aspirant must possess and study all three before he or she can safely attempt to learn this unforgiving art. A warrior's honor is a shield, but it's also a hindrance. The aspirant is best served by equating honor with the scale protection that is cast off and is no longer oh. useful. Viper is not for those who hide behind platitudes. It is vicious and makes no apology. A whole bunch of stuff, yeah. We also lost the Iron Pam style, so I think in this thing, if we were good, we would get Iron Pam. Anyway, we got Viper. Uh, yeah, cool. Uh, we are going to equip our new thing. We're going to get rid of Imperial Favor. It gives us one charm, but we're going to get rid of it for, what's it called? Uh, Gem of Storm's Rage, because it gives us a shield, which is very useful. Oh, wait, we have more slots to use? We have five of seven. Why are we not using five of seven? Um, what was the other one I just got rid of? Imperial Favor. Let's we'll take that on. Um, we have the open palm may use it. Nope. Plus six. More experience for killing monsters. Um, plus six. Plus six. I don't know. This whole a whole bunch of good stuff in here. Um, yeah. We'll see. There are also some other good stuff we can get later. Um, let's stick in a mind plus 12. There we go. That's cool. Give us a lot more to work from, but I am going to end this part of the episode. We're going to go to the other part where I'll show you what some of the issues we're having, and I will see you next time. Goodbye. Hello, this is me showing you what's happening at, uh, well, what was stopping the recordings. So. You may notice that some FPS drops, you may notice some other problems. Hopefully the start of this video is all fixed, it's all perfect. But I thought it'd be worth showing you why there hasn't been a video for a while. So, see this cutscene? You might have saw it earlier. Yep. Small issue here, right? You there! You are- Yep, we'll skip through the dialogue. Yep, skip through the dialogue. You notice where our quest giver is? It's on the other side of the door, which we can't open. Also, the game runs so poorly. Like, this is ridiculous. It is...
so bad. You can probably see how janky looking this game looks. It's got so few frames. It is actually ridiculous. This probably looks terrible on YouTube. Or maybe it looks better than it looks on my side on YouTube. Because this is unplayable. Anyway. I thought you might learn to know what was going on. Um, yeah. This combined with a little bit of recording footage corruption. That pretty much uh, sums up uh, what's been happening with Jade Empire. So. Uh, thank you for watching, and uh, hopefully, um, you know, we have no more problems and we can finish this. See you then. See you next time. Goodbye.